Welcome to the first video of the new school year. I'm going to teach you how to make a stem and leaf plot. This is one way to organize and display data. This is classroom standard number five, Oregon standard number eight. Point two, point one, organize and display data. So important standard. This is an easy one. If you ever have a choice to use this, you should because it's one of the easiest ways to do it. First thing we need to do is let's put all these numbers in order. Okay, so let's knock them down one by one. There's the six. We've got a couple of twelves, a thirteen, and a fourteen. All I'm doing is rewriting my set of numbers, my set of data, in order from lowest to highest. There, same numbers, different order. Now, draw a vertical line. Vertical, up and down. This side is called the stem. This side it's called the leaf. Now on the stem side, we want to put the uh, highest place value in all of our set of numbers. In this case, the highest place value is the tens place. Okay? <clears throat> so we've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, a few questions to answer as we build this. First of all, the highest place value needs to go in order from top to bottom, lowest to highest, as we've talked about in class. And we don't want to leave anything out. We want equal intervals. Okay, every graph needs equal intervals, so we don't want to skip any numbers, and we also don't want them out of order. Okay, so zero in the tens place, this is this number, right? The number six has no tens, but six ones. Okay, so this is gonna be the smaller place value in our number list. That's the leaves. Okay, how many numbers do we have with a, ten, with a one in the tens place? We've got, this is why we rewrote them in order, because it's easy to see, and 17. <laughs> It's easy to see which numbers are going to go here, and they're already in order from lowest to highest. So we put the 2, 2, 3, 4, 7. Those are all the numbers in the ones place from each number in our list. Okay? In order from lowest to highest with the corresponding digit that's in the tens place off to the left in the stem. On to the twenties, 23. 327. Sometimes if this is confusing, it helps to actually say 10, 20, 30, 40. The, the numbers that these digits represent over here, because this is not 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 10, 20, 30, 40. All right, so that takes care of those two. We have no numbers in the 30s, and so we leave that blank. Okay, if I put a zero there, which some people will do to say, hey, there's no numbers in the 30s, so I'm going to put a zero there to say nothing. Well, once you do that, then what do you have? You actually have 3, 0, which makes 30, and there's no 30 up here. So we just leave it blank, all right? And then finally, just like I was talking about, we're going to put a zero there next to the 4 because this is 40. There's a 4 in the tens place and no ones, so this is a number. Every number you put in the leaf means that you've got a corresponding number up here in the list. So you don't put a zero there to say I don't have something. But you do need the three there, so we have equal intervals for our graph. There's the stem and leaf plot. Now based on that, you can find measures of central tendency, such as the mode, the median, range, the mean, any of those things, just looking at a stem and leaf. And that will be in part two of the video. So to recap, stem is on the left, leaf is on the right. 
The stem has the highest place value in order from smallest to largest, top to bottom. The leaf has the smaller place value, in this case the ones. Once again, in order, smallest to largest, like reading a book, top to bottom, left to right. That's it. Let me give you a sample problem. And then you can make your own, and I'll give you the answers. So here's a number list for you. There you go. 14, 21, 11, 5, 16, 34, 51, and 15. Go ahead and do this problem, and I'll come back on part two of the video with the answers. Thank you.